Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is July 5th, 2019, a Friday, and that means it's another wonderful day for basics. And today we are going to do not just any basics, we are doing a double digit Q basics. But I must warn you, those of you who are Don level and sometimes tune into even my Q games in order to learn a thing or two, this is going to be extremely fundamental basics today. You may want to go elsewhere just fair warning to you. But for everyone who is about 5k and below, you probably get something out of this, so that will be nice. I'm doing a little bit of a different format in the video you are about to see. Let me know how you enjoyed it. Only doing one game today. Sorry for those of you who enjoy more, but like I said, we are going in depth into the fundamentals of this game. It's going to take a while. I think you're going to like it anyway. It's going to be on OGS. Enjoy. All right, we got a game. We are black. I will say hello, nice to meet this guy. And raise my volume up a little bit. Weird. It's actually a little bit too low. So remember, we are going to play uh, very much a kind of extremely basic, focusing on the large points of the board sort of style. That way we have a nice firm foundation from which to continue from. All right, so... Right off the bat, we should talk uh, about where the large points of the board is. Ignore this move. So here we have a choice. This area here is fairly large because it's an area of, from a 4-4 to a third line. But this one over here is as well, right? Because this is from a fourth line to a third line. Third, because of the nature of this board, we also have one up in here. So any of these points are this one we would rule out because this is fourth line to fourth line so top of the board we would say no to right so in that regard we can pick one of these areas and decide which one we want to do but check this out the bottom one allows me to expand uh while denying him an enclosure so we get to do two things there so I will take that for myself. We can easily identify that that is the largest thing to do right now on this board. If, for example, I had just decided to go and develop this area, I would only be on this side of the board. And then he could just like expand this way or expand this way or expand this way or do whatever he wants to do while I'm kind of like huddled on one side of the board. So we're going to try to avoid that one. He responded uh, with... This, this is completely fine. The attachment is just common Jaseki. We're going to play it. Everyone should know it. Even if you're a DDK, the uh, rule here, well, the pattern here is he plays on the inside. Or, okay, not play on the inside. That was wrong. He did play on the inside. He's supposed to play on the outside. I go back. He defends. I extend. But this is actually okay because the question arises here. Like, what do we do if we, if he, if he does this one? Well, that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and cut it. And we're not going to do very much in the way of reading. He played here. Okay. Can I save my stone? Yeah, maybe. Who cares? Let's just get rid of it. Let's just go on the outside. Let's just not be surrounded. Go is called the surrounding game. Let's just let's just try not to get surrounded. We're going to protect a little cutting point. He plays there. And then something very, very simple. And just kind of maybe grab an extension. Where do I want to go here? No, here? I was grabbing an extension. We were looking to build this area up, right? So we we got it. We got it. Cool. Now, large points on the board are obviously this one because it's still uh, third to fourth. So this is area is big. This one isn't because now we're four, five, we're sixth to fourth up here. So this area is a little bit smaller, but I can potentially expand up to him what he wants to do. Uh, I think what he should be doing right now is definitely looking at this area and trying to reduce me or trying to expand along here. He's had to drop down. Don't want him to connect. Okay, that's fine. Because rule, easy rule of thumb is just don't let them connect up, right? Just divide and conquer. I'm just going to dro drop straight down, not worry about Hanes and cutting points and blah, 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 blah. Just doing this. Okay, so he expanded back. Great. Well, now we can think about again, like, where are the large points on the board? Uh, in this case, we once again 
see that this stone here to this stone down here is fourth line to third line. So that's pretty big. This is fourth to fourth still. So this is, you know, a little bit okay. But we're not going to play down because this is what? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is eight to four. So we can rule out we're going to play down here. Um, we can disrupt the left-hand side, but we're not going to take the top. So it's really tied between the right and the bottom. And I think for just keeping things nice and simple, I'm going to choose uh, the bottom. You can choose, or, or the right-hand side, sorry. You can choose whichever enclosure you prefer, whether it's large knight, two space, one space. Like, I, I don't care. I'm just going to play here because you're probably going to see it a lot. So, boom. Got my enclosure. All right. So now we go back into contemplating what we want to do. Uh, we see that he has gained for himself right up in here an enclosure, right? And you could think of that enclosure uh, essentially like a wall. So this is a wall that has been built right here. We can see the broad side of it, right? It's not this side or this side. It's this side. And that's the direction that this thing wants to build. It wants to go off in that direction. So one thing that's really large is to block that extension from his enclosure. That way he can't get the free territory from the enclosure and just start growing on it. Big rule of thumb, if enclosure, block extension. If extension, block enclosure. He plays here, you can take the enclosure, you can jump, you can do whatever your little heart desires. I'm going to go and play here. Okay, he jumped up again. I'm going to go and grab that enclosure like I mentioned. We defended once, we don't want to keep defending because this area is still wide open. So now we have an enclosure, we have an extension. Ooh, now this I'm going to talk about right here. So check this out. This little stone right here wants to live, but how can it live? It can only really live one of two different ways. It can come out and try to go somewhere, or it can make a base. If it tries to make a base, it has to get an extension. So where can it get an extension? It can't go up here. It can only go here to get an extension. And if it can't get an extension, it has to run away. So what we're going to do here is block it from being able to grab the extension and now it has to run away so we got this moving for free isn't that cool this move you want to avoid whenever possible dropping down the second line it's very very tiny if i wanted to be really aggressive against him now i could try to surround and maybe even kill him I'm going to follow him down here, but don't do it. Don't do it. This is the kind of thing that you don't want to do. All right. So I was hoping he'd jump out and realize that was too small, but this is okay. Um, now we ask ourselves where the next large move is. Well, I kind of want to keep all this top territory for myself because it's bloody huge. So I'm going to play a little defensive move here to make certain that nothing can get a base in here. If you were to picture right now, right, a stone being like dropped in here or in here, where could it go? It can't get a base. So the only thing it could do is come out here. But since I already have a sector line in place, that really isn't going to go very well, is it? We just cap this immediately and it probably dies with almost next to no reading. It's just recognizing a stone placed in there can't live locally because it needs at least a two space extension to even begin trying to do that so if it can't do that and it can't run it can't live pretty simple this move is same thing where can it get an extension from looks like here it can get a two space base so i'm going to go and play here again um and then i'm going to wonder why this decided that it's not going to continue playing excuse me Oh, man. That is sad. I'm listening to something that got copyright claimed. The track in the middle just died. 
He's attaching to me. We respond to attachments, shoulder hits. Um, and caps, and caps, 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 caps. All right. I can hone at the head of two and three stones. That's a proverb. I listen to me proverbs. His group here sadly isn't alive, but that's okay. Double hon at the head, a two and three. Double hon at the head, a two and three. This is how we find out this. I, that's another two space, right? So or two state, uh, two stone. So I can high head of that too. Now people saying, why is that a brower? Doesn't make any bloody sense. It does actually make sense, because uh, right now, if he had played away and I get the hane and he responds, that's an Atari into an Atari, so his whole group dies. Uh, as it stands right now, I could play here because he's screwed, but we're we're not gonna we're not gonna play uh, too aggressively against the little guy because I want to show off an invasion. He 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 he. I'm gonna poke at this just to be a little annoying. You don't have to play the poke. I'm threatening to cut him here, but we're gonna leave this alone. So okay, we've got our territory here. We secured our territory here. We could surround this group here because it is called, the go is called the surrounding game. Or we can invade, but how do we invade? Well, let's take a look here. Um, I could try to go into the corner and try to live like somewhere in here. But if you picture life in there, that's not really the threat, is it? You're probably worried about like all of this stuff, right? You're worried about all of that territory, not really that center, that, that corner territory. So we're not going to even bother trying to do that. Since we've identified what we're really afraid of, then this is what we're going to do. So here we've got like a little sector line along uh, like so. So anything around here should be okay. Now I'm going to choose to play a move um, over in here because... I'm on the edge of the sector line, but there's an extra reason why I'm playing this. I can shoulder hit here into escaping. I can do a little attachment here if I wanted to. That is an elephant eye, so I'm going to play it. This threatens to kill one stone with the clamp, so we'll play that too. He should save himself. Okay, don't want him to cut me, so I'm going to respond. Hanit had a two and three stones, so sounds good. And let's make some shape. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that easy? We were so worried about all of that stuff. Not anymore though, huh? No longer worried. I have Sente, so I'm gonna fix my little shapey shapey. My little shapey shapey. Just like so. A very, very small little uh, innocent little connection. Now, I don't like how I'm kind of getting surrounded here, so I will take a moment and just play an extra move like so to ensure that I got like a little bit of a base. If you want to play here somewhere, that's fine too. We're just making sure we're okay. Stone's getting hurt, so I'm responding. Hot headed two and three stones. Don't want to do that against me. I've been doing that against him. Don't want to do it against me. But I can play this one first because it threatens to go down and kill the entire corner. So I think this is Sente, right? Because if I play here, two stones, captured. He yep, there you go. And I'll go back and play here, just like so. Hi, had a three stone, don't want him to do that either. So I will play that one too. See, we... Attachments, I'm responding. We, um, high at the head of his stones. And we saw how dangerous that was, right? So we made sure that he couldn't do that to us. That's all there is to it. Um, here I think we are completely fine. I'll give him Sente one more time. Ba -bum, ba -da 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 -bum, ba da 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 so this is this is all fine. We're completely uh, solid in this area. So I get to I get to play elsewhere. But where 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 where? Let's see if you little DDK is configured out. 
Give you a minute. Give you a minute. Nine. Uh oh. Eight, okay. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Yeah. Five, uh huh. Four. Three. Two. One. There you go. That was the answer. We're gonna grow off our area because here was were our choices. We could try to poke at this a little bit, but we probably can't make it past this line anyway. However, we can try to grow this all the way to here because there's no white stones around this area and I can't envision how a white stone can get played anywhere in that area, right? So if we just get like a wall here and finish the wall here, then all of this turns into territory. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Uh-huh. Responding to all of his moves. He hit me, so I'm going to drop a... Uh... I'm going to fall back this way. You should go down here instead. But if I go here, then it might get scary for his group. I don't want to even pretend like I'm trying to kill anything. Instead, we'll go back to build that huge wall that I mentioned. And look how that just bleeds into that center. Look at that. Look at that. That cutting point. Oof. Oof. Mm. That cut, admittedly, doesn't do anything because this group is alive. This group is alive. So if he cuts through me, that's fine. Right? Just sealing him out of the middle. Ooh, such a huge middle. Oh. <laughs> such a huge middle. Does this move do anything? Um, I don't know, maybe there's cutting points there. Sure, I'll protect. If you if you're not certain, just just make sure you're protected. This move is dead. Um, I don't see what it can do. Uh, I don't know. I'll prevent it from getting any kind of base, and then yeah, that's that. Make sure my group is strong. Made a table shape here. I can poke at that. And then just kind of eat at the group. Because this thing can't make an eye. right? We already talked about how it couldn't make a base. And now it's super, 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 duper, cute, duper, cute, duper, duper can't make a base. Right? So if it can't make a base and it can't go anywhere, then it's a dead man. And mind you, we've been protecting our shapes. Don't have to play it, but I will. See? Cutting points? We protected them, didn't we? See how we did that? He has nothing to work from. If we played away, then maybe he Atari's here, and Atari's here, and Atari's here, and then Pokes here, and then maybe he starts getting shape. But here, there's there's no, uh, no reason to worry. Doesn't have an eye, and in this area, he can't even begin to get two. Because we recognize that he had like what? One, two, three, four? Like a four space square to try to make eyes in? You can't make two eyes in a four space square. Come on. Like if I were to ask you right now, imagine, 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 imagine. Um, these are my stones. Right? I get stones right here is there any move you can play in the middle to make two eyes the answer is no the answer is no right even in the corner scenario even in a corner scenario it's impossible so this is not even the corner scenario and why i say corner scenario is because uh, it's usually easier to make life in a corner because you've got access to the wall here and a wall here so you don't actually need to make four walls to surround something Right? You only needed like uh, the two. Bum, 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 bum. So this was dead. It was always going to die. So that's fine. Now it's going to look at uh, some end game. So we're looking at uh, things that threaten to go into here. Things that threaten to go into corners if possible. Don't want them coming down in here and poking at me again. This is also dead. <clears throat> okay. Nowhere for that to go. Let's 
Uh, that high is not threatened to make eyes, but I'll respond, I guess. Why not? Here I'm showcasing how much room you need to make eyes. Like, look at how much room you need. Isn't that crazy? Like, even in here, you can still Atari and then drop down, right? So even in there, you just can't live. It, this initially, I was going to play here, into here, into the Atari, but I'll just play here now instead. Um, not really required, but okay. I don't know. I mean, these stones are dead, so it doesn't matter. I mean, again, not really mattering because see, these stones are dead. All right, don't want them coming in there. Um, a little poke in here. A little bit more poking. A little bit more poking. Ookie. Okay. Atari. Gotta be careful of the cutting points of double Atari, so we'll protect. Well spotted for him. Could try to Atari and connect. So, again, well spotted for him. Not sure what that's doing. I'll go ahead and give him the free move, though. Why not? Because even if he plays here, I just connect and it's fine. But yes, we identified the largest points on the board. And we were doing that from our essentially our third move forward. Where's the bigger corner to approach? How do we know? Does our group have a base? Yes, it did. He's threatening to double Atari. All that stuff. Well, the guy's persistent. I'll give him that. Again, same thing. Can't really live because you can see he's trying to make life in this tiny area. So if you try to imagine it, like where, where's, where are the two eyes in this little area? Doesn't really exist, right? Because that's already dead. I don't know why I connected there. I spaced out, sorry. So this is dead, because if he connects here, we play here, and if he plays here, we throw in. Uh, that's not a move. I'm well aware that that was never going to live. So we're just doing uh, some endgame stuff. Still. Connect that up so we can't push down. Similar here. I'll go ahead and take that away. This isn't a thing, but the way he's been playing, I have a hunch that he will if I don't play it. So I'll just go ahead and take that off the board now. Um, connect, I think that's the last move. Nope, sorry, moves over here. There we go. And then here. All right, I think we're done. I think we are done. Pass. Oh, wait, no. Oh, cancel. Oh, God. No, it's fine. It gave him the, it gave him the points anyway. That's fine. Whatever. Um, sure. Accept. Thank you. Thank you, my good man. All right, so let's go ahead and review the game. So, review the game. If we want, because now we can get into counting, right? So this is literally one, two. 13 spaces, right? One, two, three, five. Oh, Jesus. It doesn't check to see if you've removed a count. There. 12 spaces. That makes that, that made more sense. Like, I was wondering, how did we get an odd one from four to four? At that, or from four to, yeah. Anyway. 
This is a 12, this is 12 spaces, so that's cool. Uh, same thing here, this is 12 spaces. This, however, is one shy. It's only 11. Uh, this is also 12, because it's same thing, fourth line to third line. So either developing this area, expanding this area, or preventing this area are the two big things in this game. We chose B because it does two things at once, right? Let's go back to red. It does two things at once, right? It expands me over to here, right? And it prevents him from trying to expand over to here. So it's doing two things at once. It's preventing his expansion and it's taking our expansion. If we do a move like C, it's preventing his expansion, but we don't have an expansion for ourselves because we're not on the left-hand side of the board. It's still good, but it's only doing the one thing as opposed to the two things that B is doing, right? So we go and take that away. Now you are going to find people all the way up to Don level who get that simple thing wrong that you're not going to get wrong anymore because even though you might be a DDK, you now understand it. Like I've seen five Dons decide to go and play something else and leave this intact. Even this is like a 4-4 stuff where it's easy to approach and do something off of. It's very bizarre, dude. It's very bizarre. And it makes our life a little more difficult. So this is Chisaki. Defend, base, done. Sadly, he decided something different. He cut on the inside. Whatever. Whatever. Could you have lived back here? Maybe. But we don't really need to. Now, if I was playing an honest-to-goodness game at my level, I wouldn't have connected. I would have played here because this threatens to kill, right? There's no way to save the stones. So one ensures that our opponent has to defend, and then we play here. He can't cut because he gets killed. But that is obviously not a DDK sequence, now is it? So I connected instead. It's a little bit of a uh, worse shape for me but I thought it was okay for the series. If you know the other one, excellent. Same, again, going over it, they play here and they cut you. It does not matter at all. Two cutting points, bunch of stones dead. That right there is game over. That right there is just game over if they try it. So I played here, whatever, they defended, we extended, they dropped down, we prevent the connection. This is a little bit bad for them, I didn't highlight it in the actual game, but now I can contemplate, hey, can I get moves like this in later, maybe? Maybe. Can I do something like this one later, maybe? Maybe. Instead we enclose, because again, the wider sides. Prevent the extension from his enclosure. Defend that our little one stone since he approached it. Got our enclosure to go with our extension. Same idea that we had here, implementing it for ourselves. Um, now the corners and the sides have been dealt with. So now we're kind of going into the middle and mid game fighting. So he created a group. We noticed the group could do one of two things it can go out into the center or it can go along get a base. So what did we do? We prevented it from getting a base so it could only run away. It doesn't get any points, we get a few more, and we get Sentei to play the large point. Right? It's excellent. Excellent. He played here. We did this. That's kind of a bad move. At this point, um, I could very likely try to kill this in a very reasonable fashion because it doesn't even have an eye yet. Not sure where this group goes, but you can see, like after this move, 
there's no I there, because if I play here, he has to connect, otherwise he loses, right? And if I play here, if he plays here, he's completely surrounded, and then he's dead, because he just has the one eye. But we played here, and just defended ourselves, he came in again. I commend him trying to get two space extension, we just threatened to surround, or threatened to hide, had a two and three stones over and over and over again. Before launching an invasion, I anticipated him coming out. That was my anticipation. And then I would come out. And then he comes out, and I come out. That's kind of how I envisioned that to go. Said he played here. We just kind of made sure that he was separated. High head of the stones. Making shape while we're coming out. High head of the stones. See how... Like, the reoccurring theme here is just understanding the value of that bloody Hane. Kind of crazy, huh? And, because of that, we're not playing, I don't know, elsewhere, and letting him do that to us. Remember how we got that middle? Tell me, think you can build the middle now? Mm -mm. No, because he rolls up into a little ball. You don't want to be a roll up into a little ball. In fact, maybe he makes a few points in the middle now. That's a huge difference. Instead, we go here. And we're just building. Just building. No one you have sent is a very big part of it. We ignored this for this. Why? Because what is he going to do? Push again? Who cares? Hane? Who cares? He can get an extra point there. I don't care. I don't care. This area here is worth way more than fighting over this little block here. And when you actually start envisioning, like, right there, that little block, is that little block really larger than the huge swath of stuff in the center? Uh-uh. Like, once you see it on the board like that, you realize that is so that is so stupid to fight over it. That is so stupid to fight over it. Right? So we don't care. Let him, let him do whatever he wants over in here. Obviously smaller than this. In fact, if we tried to go into the middle we would be fighting over this area. That's still a larger block than here. If I tried to poke at this area, then we'd be fighting over this area, which is still larger than here. Right? So we can find bigger things to do all day, all day long. All right, so it does that. Keep him out, keep him out. And then here, this stone just can't live. Just can't live. It needs two, it needs two eyes to live. Uh, can't get a base. We've, we talked about that a long, long, long time ago. Can't get a base, so it's not going to get one. Right? Needs like a one space or a two space extension. So tell me where this thing can play to get that. You can look all day. You can't find it. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. But... Okay, we just not double tapped it, made sure it can't get a base of any kind. That means it needs two eyes in the middle of the board. So we think about that. Okay, where's it going to come from? Maybe if I get some stones around here. Uh, that's still not alive. Like from even this weird shape that I just showed, I can see that there's a throw in it A to just prevent all the eyes. You know? Just throwing it at throwing it A just prevents all the eyes. So imagine getting all of these stones. Even if you get all of those stones, you're still dead. So do you think your opponent's really gonna sit back and let you get all of those stones? Mm-mm. And even if you did, did it even matter? Uh-uh. So plays here. You could play here. This is still not one eye, because you can see here, this is false, right? 
Because here, 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 here is an Atari, right? So that's not, it's not an eye, but whatever, we poked it. Don't let our stone get captured. Don't let our stones uh, get atari through. Technically a shape point, but you could pass, because even if he does play it, still not an eye. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Same thing here. Same thing here. I poked at this one. You don't have to. You can't live. So yeah, there he goes. We gave him one eye. Then we go back to endgame stuff. Back to endgame stuff. This doesn't work. That was bad. If we were actually trying to kill it, we weren't sure if it lived, we'd play here instead. I played here because I don't know. No reason. Let's assume he played here instead. Um, how can we try to make, make two eyes here? I don't even know. Let's assume he played here. And like I try to cut or something and he cuts me. This still didn't work. As you can see here. I think. Yeah. Because the Atari and stuff. So yeah, we're fine. After this, that was pretty much the end of the game. Pretty much end of game. So, I spent a little bit more time talking about D uh, DDK topics. Direction of play, how to find it, um, dealing with a reduction, I guess, or an invasion, whatever, you, whatever you want to call this move here, this move here, whatever you want to call that. Like, how do we know which way to play? Same thing down. What was it down in here somewhere? Yeah, over here. How to know which way to play? If I pushed him towards my weak, my isolated group, maybe it's under attack. Instead, we just pushed him away from the two space on that one, rather than like give him this one, right? So we identified a lot of a lot of really big topics. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, my DDK games are all now going to feature, I think, assuming you like it, the little tool that I was using in game, the little tool that I was using in game to kind of like show off what I'm talking about. So I'm going to be doing that a lot more. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the little DDK corner. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.